Hello everyone, welcome back to Show and Tell. We are here today again just to showcase amazing student projects and Lee is joining to me to introduce a, a project from University College London. Hi Lee, how are you doing? Hi Raisha, I'm really well. So first, thank you for having us back to Show and Tell. As you said, we're here with an amazing team from University College London that we've been working with for the past 12 weeks, building with Microsoft Teams Toolkit and the new LifeShare SDK. So the team's here today to show us what they've been working on. Amazing. So before we jump into the project, let's get to know the team a little bit better. So why, why don't you guys take over? Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Arvind. Um, I'm from India. And as Lee mentioned, I'm studying computer science at University College London. Um, for this project, I was the lead backend developer, and as a whole, the project was a great experience. It was it was really fun and interesting, and I can't wait to show you guys more. Hello, everyone. I'm Adil. So I was the lead front end developer for the project, and I'm a home student, so I live I'm, I'm based in the UK. Hi, my name is Yong Jung. I'm from South Korea, and I studied computer science at University College London. My role in this project was the technical lead. Amazing. So Satari couldn't make it for today, but she was also a part of the team. Let's get to know your project. Can you tell us a bit more about your project and what is it about your project and what is special about this uh, motion input app on Teams? Sure. So firstly, I'll talk about by the main technologies that we have used. So we work very closely with the UCL Motion Input. So it's a trademark software developed by over 150 students and academics at UCL. So it uses touchless computing software, allowing users to use a host of different motions to control their device. And this is what we used for remote physiotherapy. Also, we developed a Microsoft Teams application using a Teams toolkit, a useful Visual Studio Code extension. The automatic setup enhanced our experience and aided us with installing team packages all the way to Azure Cloud Deployment. We also use LiveShare SDK, a software development kit. Using this software, we were able to create live collaborative games fully rendered over a team score within our application. Thank you so much, Adil, for the background and the intro. And can you tell us a bit more, what was the audience for your project and what is the aim for building this project overall? Sure. So our main audience was targeting all physiotherapy patients from the young to the old, from the more affected to the less affected. So our project had quite a few meaningful outcomes. Given the laborious and tedious nature of previous physiotherapy regimes where you had to do repetitive motions, patients may have struggled to remain engaged or motivated in their physiotherapy programs. Furthermore, some patients may have struggled to access physiotherapy given their limited motion capabilities. Therefore, our project was aimed to address these problems. So we wanted to bring motion and gamification into physiotherapy, meaning that patients would remain more engaged whilst also creating a solution that's more accessible for all. Awesome, so moving physiotherapy patients to the digital world with some gamification, so it won't be a boring Teams meeting for them, it will be more like yeah. engaging and having fun uh, style, which is, I think, the best value proposition for the patients. Exactly. Awesome. So how about your solution? Let's get to know your solution a little better, the technical pieces of it. How you use Team Silkit and LiveShare? These parts are the most I'm interested in. Sure. So to give a brief overview of, of our solution, so that in the Teams Toolkit, we developed a tab, which was developed using JavaScript and React. And in this tab, we integrated a host of different games and adjusted them such that they would be calibrated with different UCL motion input gestures. So allowing patients to use a variety of different motions to play a variety of different games, allowing them to exercise the most amount of body parts that they can possibly use. And also we use NDI technology so the NDI out technology is built into Microsoft Teams. So we simply broadcast our meeting over NDI and then we can extract videos and use these videos to feed into motion input. So this allows users to have their camera on inside a Teams call and use motion input at the same time, which wasn't previously 
done before. And also, it allows users to run motion input for someone else. So a user can simply just hop on from their phone or any device and just get started by using motion input without any installation required. Awesome. So let's jump into the key features of the technology server solution. Definitely. Um, so our project as a whole had a lot of very unique and um, quite key features to kind of make the user experience as great as we could. So as mentioned before, with the Teams Toolkit app um, and LiveShare SDK, we allowed um, collaborative gaming experience for, for the users. So this means that over the Teams call, they can play a host of different games like tic-tac-toe and play them collaboratively against each other inside the Teams call. Then we want to pair this with UCL motion input. So with the motion input software, there's a variety of different gestures and motions. We think this is quite key and uh, important because it allows patients or users to really exercise different parts of their body. And they're not doing the same repetitive motions akin to similar physiotherapy programs today. Whereas now they can try different, um, different motions and different gestures. And lastly, as mentioned before, with our NDI solution, we're allowing remote access to motion input. So this means patients or users can remotely access UCL, UCL motion input from any device, as long as they can access a Teams call and have a webcam. This is really useful because now users don't necessarily need to install or download any software relating to UCL motion input. And rather, they can be a one host admin as part of the call who's running the software for anyone inside the call. This is pretty cool. Before jumping into the demo, I just want to ask the whole crew and Lee, how was the experience building apps with Teams Toolkit? I think the experience as a whole was, was great. Um, initially, there was definitely a bit of struggles to just get used to the software. But as we got on with it a bit more and we got more experience with it, I think the experience was, was really enjoyable. I think we understood there was a lot of different possibilities and a really a range of solutions that we could go through and um, a, a wide range of possibilities with, with the team toolkit. And we we're, of, of course, um, provided with a lot of support from Microsoft, from yourself and um, your colleagues like Bob German. And I think the whole experience was just really enjoyable because of that support and the different possibilities we could do with the, with the team toolkit. Yeah, I think, you know, from, yeah, I was going to say from, from a Microsoft perspective, I think it was really interesting, you know, so this group of students are, you know, computer science students. So they're traditioning, you know, to traditional fundamentals, they're looking at systems architecture and engineering and Teams Toolkit really allowed them to explore both, you know, modern day application development using things like JavaScript and TypeScript. Again, you know, using tools like Visual Studio Code, but more importantly, looking at how they can enhance the developed services of motion input from UCL. So motion input is really exciting because it's a Windows app, which allows any user to interact with any application on Windows using gesture-based recognition. So if you look at the application which exists for Windows and then think, OK, can we now take this to a Teams call where a user can interact using natural gestures, whether it's touch or facial recognition, to interact with a game or an experience? That has amazing opportunities. So this project was really about proving out that opportunity. Um, so I'm really impressed by what the team's done. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And I'm excited to show the demo to everyone who is much watching. So let's jump into the demo. Definitely. Let, let's look into a video of how our tic-tac-toe live share works along with UCL motion and so as you can see, we have the tic-tac-toe game running on the sidebar of the team's call. And now Adil or myself can both run motion input with our team's local camera. This allows us to keep the team's camera on while running the motion software. And now you'll be able to see we're able to control the mouse cursor using just our motion and our hand gestures alone. This is quite key and uh, useful for patients as now they are able to get their exercise and their exercise motions in. We are now able to use these hand gestures to play tic-tac-toe against one another, all on the team's call live. So you can see me and Ardell playing a game of tic-tac-toe against each other. And now this, this sort of framework can be expanded for different games and different gestures, all again on the team's call and all, all through your movements and motions. 
so you can get your physio programs in. I think, as you might see here, Ardell's, Ardell's getting the better of me in the game, but, but that's all part of the spirit. Um, but as I mentioned before, what we're really excited about is the expandability of this, because we can get this working with different games using live share and different motions using motion input. Now we'd like to show a demo of our remote team solution. So as you can see from Ardell's screen, he can actually run UCL motion input using my camera, since the call is being locally broadcasted through the NDI technology. So now on Ardell's laptop, the motion software, motion input, is running using my camera as the source. This is all through the team's call. So this now means that I can use the UCL motion input software without actually installing it or downloading it. I'm now able to control Ardell's cursor through the multi-touch gesture. And this has a lot of different uses. For example here, if we're dealing with visual medical software or imaging software, Ardell can simply share his screen over the team score. And now I can control this. I can view it in different angles all again through my movements and through my gestures. And this is really a very interactive experience and one where I don't need to install or download any motion-based software. So that's what's really interesting about it. I think that's what really makes it very useful. Amazing. So before we jump into the last year SDK demo, I just want to say that I'm really proud of this project. So inspiring. And after seeing how gamification works with the motion input, I definitely see the potential of this live share SDK implementation with the motion input. And uh, you can do a lot of other things with it. Um, I also want to highlight that the live share SDK integration was a, another point we got help from one of my colleagues, Bob German, um, because his sample helped a lot for this crew to implement Lasher SDK on their games. Um, I think this part is really unique because Lasher SDK is fairly new and implementing it was uh, also another success story for us. So Adil, can you quickly walk us through how you implemented Lasher SDK in your Teams app? Sure. So as Aisha said, Bob German's Who's Next sample code was extremely useful and it was actually built quite a bit off of that sample code. So I'd just like to show you the file layout. So this is actually the sample provided by Teams Toolkit, and we simply just expanded on this. And in terms of live share SDK, so for our tic-tac-toe game, we just simply consumed the fluid live share. And then inside the live share file, we just set up a connection between different participants inside the Teams call. And then using this connection, we can just set up a bunch of different helper functions. And these helper functions are functions that allow the state to be shared between everyone in the team school, allowing for a live collaborative experience so everyone can see the same screen at the same time, so we can co-edit, co-create, and it's just endless different possibilities. Amazing. And this is a great example using the live share um, SDK. I think this sample shows the value of the live share SDK in general. Lee, do you want to add anything else? Yeah, I think, you know, from, from my perspective, the live share SDK is really around that opportunity of, number one, people not having to install this software. So if you think about this from a patient, a, you know, physiotherapy perspective, you've got the physiotherapy who works for the health service in that country. They will have their corporate machine and environment. They will have motion import set up. They will have Teams environment. They will literally send an appointment to a, a patient. The patient joins the call. But again, if the patient is disabled or has lack of uh, ability because they are doing physiotherapy, they're actually using motion input on the, the physician's machine, which, you know, there's no setup. Like, you know, the, the team said they could use a mobile phone, they could use a laptop or a tablet. There's no requirements on what they have access to. And again, you know, from the demo where they talked about application usage, you know, so the ability to share, you know, medical images or architectural diagrams or building, you know, building plans could be phenomenal if you think about how people integrate interfacing today with Teams Call. So I think there's so much opportunity with the live share SDKs. It's very exciting. Exactly. And what I understood from this group is that there is more coming with this project. So can you a little bit share what is next for your project or are you planning to improve with some functionalities? Sure. So, so 
we can increase the scope of games that can be played with LiveShare SDK framework in Teams. Additionally, we can expand UCL motion input with Teams for different fields and uses. For example, assisting medical profes professionals with touchless interaction for visual healthcare imaging with the data. So we hope this can be integrated into Teams and UCL motion input and used for physiotherapy in the future. Ah, this is incredible. Okay, sounds good. And my final question is, where can developers uh, go to learn more about your project? Definitely. So um, as you can see on the screen, we have plenty of links. You can feel free to check out more about our project, the inner workings of how it works and you know what the real process behind it. We've been working on this for the last few months. So you can read all about that on our website. Um, if you want to see more about the UCL motion input software, you can also go to touchlesscomputing.org. And also feel free to check out and message any one of us, reach out to us on LinkedIn or our emails as displayed on the screen. Um, we'd I'd love to get in touch, tell you more about how the project works and see where we can go with it in the future. This is incredible. Thank you for sharing the project story with us. I think this is a really unique project to see motion input together with uh, live share and in a Teams call as a Teams meeting. And this was a really unique project to interview for myself. And I'm really excited to learn more what's coming next and to see your application is growing and becoming much, much smarter and better by the time. And before closing out, Lee, do you have anything else to add? Yeah, so from my perspective, you know, a huge thank you to the team. So this team is a team of second year students. So you know, they're still at university, they've still got another year to go. So again, you know, you're going to see lots of improvements happening. And again, we're going to hope lots more people adopt this technology and really experiment what is potential with Teams, the Live Share SDK and the Teams Toolkit. Awesome. So I'm hoping we will interview you uh, maybe next year with more improvements in your projects. And uh, thank you so much for joining and sharing everything you've built so far. It was a pleasure having you in this uh, show and tell and looking forward to having more interviews with you all. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you soon in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.